too much to it right now. They're waiting a little while. Mr. Thumbs Up is putting the last touches on leveling and getting the consistency just right by adding um, powder to the water excess, leveling it out, and then we're going to put some jewels and stuff in it to decorate it. And he's doing a fine job. Sharon from Connection of Lies and Interest 2020. Mr. Thumbs Up never stops. There's the hearth for the wood stove we're going to have. Got to have it a certain size for safety. And then the pipe's going to go out there. You can't see it right there. So this is how it's done. And we're not professionals. See, he plays and learns just like I do. That's just how we roll. Right, Mr. Thumbs Up? Sure. We're just winging it. Okay, so I'm going to try to pause this, and if it should shut off, then hey, thanks for watching. <laughs> so I'm going to try to pause it and try to pick it up in different stages. Okay, hold on. I don't know how long I can keep it on pause. Okay, y'all. You know how I'm always saying we like to repurpose and recycle and all that? Well, that's what's left over, and we're not wasteful. So we came up with this idea. He's got this square, and he's going to make up the concrete, pour it into the square, and we're going to... Put a handprint in. Yes, make our handprints. i got to get out of the way. <laughs> watch out. Watch out. Because, oh, it's not going to be powdery. He's putting water in it. Not too much water, Mr. Thumbs Up. Well, you gotta stick your hand in there. Oh, well, no, that's enough. Let's mix it up. I'm being bossy. I'm good at it, right, Mr. Thumbs Up? Yeah. Bossy, bossy. Once in a while, I let my friends get bossy, too. I tell them that, and, and that's the funny thing. When we first moved here a year ago, I don't know how it developed. I wish we could do a playback. But, um, yeah, I ended up saying, oh, it's just the powders. Um... We ended up joking around with each other saying, you're so bossy. You're so bossy. So that's our big joke. And then I've been known right, as, okay, we got to check on the concrete. Okay, on the concrete. Right. Let's see what it looks like. There's water on the top. It's shiny with water. Uh, I, I said we need to remove water. But what am I now? No, don't worry about the water. Don't worry about the water. So... Yeah, you know, once in a while, my, my friends here know that I'm bossy, right? Susie from Susie's Craft Room and Joanne from Journaling Adventures. They could tell you. They'll vouch. They'll, they'll comment below. <laughs> once in a while. And even Barbara from, um, I think it's 565 box or 656. It's either 565 or 6. 56. But the sixes and the fives are in there. The order, I don't know. But Barbara from that boxer um, channel, she could tell you too that once in a while I will tell them, hmm, okay, you, you momentarily have the opportunity to be bossy. So he's there mixing it. All right, gonna pause you again. Oh, he's putting it in the floor. Oh, wait a minute. Do we want it on the ground? No, hold on. Huh. Okay, so the other concrete that's left over is setting a little bit so that we can actually put our handprints in because we waste nothing. And then too much water. So we got to remember what we do and we're just logging it by video. So he's taking a rag and he's sucking it up and putting it in the bucket. Working. It's working. It's working. So if y'all have that issue, that's what you can do when you got to put jewels and stuff in it and you want it to set up and it's got too much water. Just take an old raggy do and suck it up. I actually told him I could go get an, a baster that I got from Dollar Tree and he goes, no, we don't need to. It's, it's all right. You watch it. The water will go away. But guess what? Mrs. Thumbs Up is right. But it's okay. Mr. Thumbs Up did this whole cabin build all on his own, so he he's a Mr. Know-it-all, really. And and then there's the chimney part for the wood stove. Okay? Okay. Don't 
All right, now we can bring the cream to the top again. Okay. Just right. I'm going to polish all again. Wash my hand. So, as you saw, he, he sucked up the extra water with the rag, and now the water is coming up to the top again. So, don't worry about making it too dry, because it still will flip to the top. Okay, and we're getting ready to put these beauties in. Alright, let's get busy. Okay, we're going to be busy here, because we haven't been yet. <laughs> Y'all are still there. Okay. So this is what we got going on. Okay. And the middle is empty because that's where the wet stove goes, okay? It's a pot belly stove. And for all of you that don't know what that is, it's okay. You'll be learning. Usually it's the older generation, like ourselves, that understand what a pot belly stove is, okay? You want to hear a funny thing? Of course, everything with me is funny, right? Um, I was in here doing my side because Mr. Thumbs Up got done before I did, of course. He was acting panicked like it was going to set up really fast, and I knew we had time. So I was just being a girly girl. Not that I'm a girly girl, but yeah, so I was taking my time. That's what we have. Show you when it's dry. But he was outside and he was like, time to do our hands. And I, if the camera was on, you all laugh. And I said, I'm good. You know, cause I'm working in the concrete with the rocks and the cement. And if y'all know or don't know, you know, you're not supposed to have cement on your hands too long because it will burn. Well, um, so, me totally focus on what I'm doing because I don't can only handle one thing at a time in my older years. And um, you know, we decided we were gonna do our handprints in that wooden box outside. And he said, It's time to do our hands. And I'm saying, I'm good. No, I'm good. I don't need to I'm thinking wash my hands. And he goes, Time to do our hands. I said, no, I'm good. I'm good. So we did this like four times. <laughs> Y'all would have laughed. And um, and then finally he said, it's time to do our hand prints. See, he forgot about the hand print part to get me on board for time to do our hands. Okay, so that that's a funny, funny. Okay, so I'm going to pause you. For now, um, again, and if it cuts off, yeah, let me get a closer look. So I use all kinds of stuff. The shark teeth is from um, our son finding them years ago when he was a kid, and he collected them. And there's jewels and rocks and different things that our daughter gave us to contribute. And then there's things that Mr. Thumbs Up bought. And it's a variety of stuff. So, yep, that's what we have. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. If we get cut off, you know, I don't know what else I'll film. We'll see. So, this is what he was talking about when he said it's time to do our hands. And I thought he wanted me to wash my hands. And I'm like, no, I don't. So, Mr. Thumbs Up Hands and Mrs. Thumbs Up Hands. Okay? Okay, still gonna pause you because I don't know if there's anything else to get on the video. Hold on. Okay, I guess that's it for this video. We got our handprints in our hearth. That hearth, right? Hearth. Right. That's what I said. Right? Y'all heard me say hearth. Hearth, hearth, hearth. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you're new to our channel, we have a variety of videos for y'all to watch, and I'm putting them in playlists. Please be sure to check out my playlist, and you do subscribe. Please put in the comment that you have subscribed 
so that I can come to your channel and subscribe to you and support you as well. And yes, there's still going to be some water coming to the top that will be addressed. But yeah, there you have it. Our project. Until next time, you'll see the upper walls go up. And then the wood stove, which is called the potbelly stove. And I ended up coming up with that idea for having it in the middle this way. And then I had that thing going that way so we could know exactly where the middle was. Okay, thanks for watching. Sharon from Connection of Lives and Interests 2020, coming from South Carolina in our hearth in the cabin. It is September 21st, Monday. Have a good week. Thanks for watching. Bye.